Welcome to our latest swamp cast, and we are truly in a swamp tonight because it was a quagmire at Doe Campbell Stadium. Didn't slow the Florida Gators down, though, Robbie. They win 45-15, and, and another impressive performance yeah. by Florida. And like at the press conference, uh, Urban Meyer said that he wanted to just run T-Bone Harvin out of the you know shotgun yeah. snap play after play. Dan Mullen said, no, let's run our offense. They ran the offense, and you got the perfect guy to lead it in these conditions, as you wrote about for tomorrow's paper. Yeah, well, that's the thing about Tebow. He loves playing. I, I had a feeling he would. When, yeah. I was, when I was looking at how, you know, this play, place drains like Ironwood Golf Course. I mean, it, there was big puddles of water. And I thought to myself, you know, Tebow's the perfect guy for this, and it turned out to be that. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the other <laughs> situation, though, when Percy Harvin gets hurt, the fans are cheering. I have never heard that in a, in no. a game before, Robert. And it really got somebody fired up number yeah. 15 the left-handed guy number 15 was not happy to hear that and uh the, the two plays later he carried most of the fsu defense into the end zone so uh certainly a great game by tebow you know whether he's back in the heisen race i don't think that had anything yeah. to do with tonight no. all was was about winning this game and beating florida state and that's the other thing robbie is that tebow takes these things seriously yeah and pat you talk about a quarterback most quarterbacks don't like getting dirty you know they like the uniform nice and pristine he likes getting muddy, I think. Yeah. The picture of the game was him coming off the field after that one touchdown, mud on his face, dirt all over him, and he kind of had a smile on his face. Yeah, he did, and I mean, he was just covered in this garnet here, yeah. the garnet paint from the touchdown and mud and blood and everything else. He had a else. blast. He loved it. He loved every second of it. But, but it wasn't just Tebow. I mean, the Florida no. defense, again, making big plays. The, the, the uh, Brandon Spikes pick, Robbie, sets him up for a touchdown to yeah. start the second half. They had three interceptions in the game. Probably could have had four, two or three more. Uh, but early in the game, Florida's kickoff coverage was the worst I've ever seen for Urban Meyer. Early and throughout. Throughout. Throughout, bad field position for the defense time and time again. And right. every time the defense would come up and stop them and force a field goal, it was the difference in the game. Yeah, FSU's first two field goal drives totaled one yard because they, they got the uh, long kickoff return, couldn't do anything with it, kicked the field goal, got the fumble. Couldn't do anything with it. Got uh, kicked another field goal. So you got to give Florida a lot of credit uh, defensively for the way they played tonight. Yeah, and you know we were wondering what happens if Florida gets punched in the mouth. They punched right back every time they got hit tonight. And it was a tough crowd, a hostile crowd, an FSU team that was fired up to get after the Gators big time. Senior day. I'm I'm again not very impressed with Florida State's offensive philosophy. Just because Jeff Bowden's not here, I still don't understand what they're trying to do some of the time. No. But but you know, give Florida credit. They kind of they make. Somebody said this uh, earlier in the press box. Florida makes people look bad. Yeah. And, and like Bowden even while. said, they get you in a position where you don't do the things you want to do, and that gets you out of your game. That's what happened again tonight. Yeah, no question about it. And, of course, Percy Harvin's injury you thought might hurt the Gators, but it didn't. They just, just kept piling it up. And Chris Rainey again with a big game. Jeff yeah. Demps again with a big game. Chris Rainey said he got caught from behind because his, his shoes were wet. Yeah. That's a good excuse. And people say, well, Demps fumbled that ball. You shouldn't put him in. But why he's in there is that he's one step away from breaking almost all, you know, throughout every game. Yeah. He's a step away tonight on a dry field. He would have had a long touchdown run, I think. One yeah. cut I'll give slip. I'll give FSU uh, secondary credit. They were able to run those guys down from yeah. behind, but it didn't really matter. And, you know, the last touchdown to me was perfect, Tebow. They were going to not let him score. And he, when he came out on the option and he pitched it perfectly. He said fine. Dance. He waited for the last second. Cut, easy touchdown. So Florida, five in a row over FSU. Three in a row at this stadium. I don't know if I'd ever live to see that, Robbie. Bobby Bowden Field. <laughs> it's Ron Zook Field, I think. <laughs> but it, it, amazing when you think about all the frustration that Steve Spurrier had here. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, you look, that was a different FSU program. Yeah, man. no question. They were totally different. But to win five in a row, and Bobby Bowden's record now against the Gators is an even 500. Yeah, and the old ball coach, Bowden, I'm talking about, was a little bit stunned that his team got whipped this badly. Yeah, and I, I think he has a real admiration for Tim Tebow. And, uh, you know, Meyer was asked about being the first Florida coach to beat Bowden four times, and he said it's humbling. You know, he's, I, he has yeah. a lot of respect for him. There's not the hate there that there used no, to be. No, no, there's not. But with the players, I think they're still there. And that, that helped fuel the fire of Tim Tebow and the whole team. So, you know, and one more thing before we go, Robbie. Kudos to the offensive line. Oh, that's just Every week just keeps yeah. playing great. They open some massive holes for yeah. those running backs. And they protect Tebow. One sack was it? Pat, he had One sack and the throw. guy lined up off yeah. sides. Yeah. I, I, I don't know why they didn't call it. There were some weird calls yeah, in the game. Yeah, so those but. big guys are playing as good as they have all year. And, you know, early in the year, Meyer said this could be one of the best lines in school history. It's starting to get to that point. Absolutely, even with the injuries they've had. So we'll see how they come out of these injuries. Brandon Antoine knee is going to be a big question mark because he was playing great. Yeah. And uh, we'll see how that turns out. Percy Harvin's ankle. And, 
And it's on to Atlanta. Yeah, another big game, bigger each time you go Things out. Keep now. getting bigger, and uh, I know everybody's lo looking forward to that and seeing what happens. But uh, we'll be there. We'll give you a preview of it and all kinds of stuff that we've got set up for you for this big SEC championship game. And then, of course, the Swamp Cast it won't be a swamp there. It'll no, be a it'll nice be dry. Artificial turf, which you know it never rains in the press box, so I've noticed no. that. That's pretty good. Pretty good deal for us. It rains on the field, though. Yeah, it does. Your pants My are, shoes are messed they're up. They're drilled, man. It's awful. Yeah. That's going to do it. We appreciate everybody for joining us on the Swampcast. And again, from Doak Campbell Stadium at Bobby Bowden Field or vice versa, Florida Gators 45 15 winners, five in a row over the semis. We'll see you next time. We'll, we're going home.